I'm now for winners and losers on Wall Street. Joining us is Rob Black, our resident financial expert, to break things down for us. Rob, let's talk about winners first off. We have uh, drugs, at least the cost of drugs here in the U.S., dropped uh, last year. Yep. In the winner column, a pretty obvious reason why, right? I mean, cheaper drugs is a better thing. Yes. On one hand, generic drugs are starting to hit their saturation point of about 86 to 88 percent of all prescription drugs. It's about 15 percent of healthcare spending. That's nice to see. Some specialty drugs, though, are skyrocketing in cost, and that's what we need to worry about down the road. Um, you know, drugs that are going living sales, that are fighting disease, hereditary diseases, issues like that, cost up to you know $200,000 a year for yeah. A prescription so this on one hand is great news because we are using more generics but on the other hand the cost of specialties are starting to, to creep in mm. and saturation 88 percent can't really get better than that as far as uh, uh, inroads go into saturation points okay uh, the uh, the bit you had on the loser column today was California's unemployment rate still at a uh, 9.8 percent we heard from Governor Brown that the balanced budget, things are looking better on, on, on at state capital, but we're still having a tough time creating jobs. What's what's the driver of that? Um, I think higher taxes than most other states in the nation. Um, obviously, sequestration slowing things down. We passed a proposition last year that raised income taxes on some of the highest earners in the state of California. People are leaving the state. People are going to the state of uh, Texas to for where the job growth is. North Dakota has the lowest unemployment rate in the nation of 3.3% because of energy. Um, we're tied with Delaware, which is not a good tie uh, at 9.8 percent. There is some talks that we might open up oil and some gas fracking, natural gas fracking, which would create a, a surplus mm. in the California's deficit problem. So good news is nothing really this year until later this year, but 2014, we should see our unemployment rate go down. That should help our housing. That should help our rental markets. It should help our overall economy. Okay. Also in the loser calling for you today is Electronic Arts, Bay Area-based gaming company. Uh, some shakeup in top management. Yeah. And I, I think this was long overdue. Um, I grew up playing Bird versus um, Magic Jack Johnson, uh, the first electronic arts title that I could remember, one-on-one uh, -on -one basketball. Yeah. Here we are looking at Madden football. A lot of franchises that are tied towards the PC, not a lot of franchises that are tied towards the iPad, which is a lower cost platform. So electronic arts missed massively with an online game called Star Wars. Uh, they missed mass massively when they bought PopCap. They just paid too much for it. Mm. They're making some headwinds, but he needs to go. The stock's down 60% in his uh, tenure. So uh, Wall Street will now ask the question of who's going to take over. We don't know yet. So they're better off than Zynga, yeah. but that's like saying I lost five teeth in a fight versus ten teeth in a fight. Okay. So you think they need to push deeper into mobile gaming? Mobile gaming. You are mobile correct, gaming. sir. Right. Uh, also in the loser column is the uh, yoga pants. Yep. Recalls for a very popular brand. Lululemon. Um, the black pants. If you can see my pink underwear through those black pants, that's not a good thing. And that's the problem they're facing, isn't it? Yep. The material's too sheer. This is their second major bleed of ink um, in two years. So it's not going to hurt them immediately, but they need to fix the problem. It's a high-end fashion. The demand for product is not their problem. It's the quality. Mm. Too much stuff being made in China that's not high quality. And if you're going to charge a premium, you better pull it off better than they're pulling it off. Um, so we'll wait and see. It's a little bit of a patience. I love the growth of this company. Mm -hmm. They're still going to grow this quarter, even though they're having a recall. The demand's there, but they got to address the quality and they got to give us a little bit more clarity on it before you jump into those shares. So if this does result in a hit to their stock price, you think that might eventually be a buying opportunity then? And it has resulted in a hit to their, uh, uh, it's a growth segment. You yeah. know, yoga, Bikram yoga and all the different types of yoga, right. not exactly uh, slowing down. It's picking up in popularity. All right, very good. Rob, thank you as always. Winners and losers. And don't forget, you can always catch Rob too on our 24-7 news channel on Comcast 193.